It's Wednesday, March 15th, 11.05 a.m. I'm going to read Chapter 3 of Part 3 of Book 4, The Formula of Tetragrammaton. yod heh vav -Hey, the ineffable name Jehovah of the Hebrews. The four letters refer respectively to the four elements, fire, water, air, earth, in the order named. This formula is of most universal aspect, as all things are necessarily comprehended in it, but its use in a magical ceremony is little understood. The climax of the formula is in one sense before even the formulation of the Yod, for the Yod is the most divine aspect of the Force. The remaining letters are but a solidification of the same thing. It must be understood that we are here speaking of the whole ceremony considered as a unity, not merely of that formula in which Yod is the God invoked, Hey, the Archangel, and so on. In order to understand the ceremony under this formula, we must take a more extended view of the functions of the four weapons than we have hitherto done. The formation of the Yod is the formulation of the first creative force, of that father who is called self-begotten, and unto whom it is said, Thou hast formulated thy father, and made fertile thy mother. The adding of the He to the Yod is the marriage of that father to the great co-equal mother, who is a reflection of Nuit as he is of Hadit. The union brings forth the son, Vav, who is the heir. Finally, the daughter, He, is produced. She is both the twin sister and the daughter of Vav. There is a further mystery herein, far deeper for initiates. His mission is to redeem her by making her his bride. The result of this is to set her upon the throne of her mother, and it is only she whose youthful embrace can reawaken the eld of the All-Father. In this complex family relationship is symbolized the whole course of the universe. The formula of Tetragrammaton is ordinarily understood, ending with the appearance of the daughter is indeed a degradation. It will all be seen that, after all, the climax is at the end. It is the second half of the formula which symbolizes the great work, which we are pledged to accomplish. The first step of this is the attainment of the knowledge and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel, which constitutes the adept of the inner order. The re-entry of these twin... The re-entry of these twin spouses into the womb of the mother is that initiation described in Liber 418, which gives admission to the inmost order of the AA. Of the last step, we cannot speak. It will now be recognized that to devise a practical magical ceremony to correspond to Tetragrammaton in this exalted sense might be difficult if not impossible. In such a ceremony, the rituals of purification alone might occupy many incarnations. It will be necessary, therefore, to revert to the simpler view of Tetragrammaton, remembering only that the Hay Final is the throne of the spirit of the Shin of Pentagrammaton. The Yod will represent a swift and violent creative energy. Following this will be a calmer and more reflective but even more powerful flow of will, as it were the irresistible force of a mighty river. This state of mind will be followed by an expansion of the consciousness. It will penetrate all space and this will finally undergo a crystallization resplendent with interior light. Such modifications of the original will may be observed in the course of the invocations when they are properly performed. The peculiar dangers of each are obvious. That of the first is a flash in the pan, a misfire. That of the second, a falling into dreaminess or reverie. That of the third, loss of concentration. A mistake in any of these points will prevent or injure the proper formation of the fourth. In the expression which will be used in chapter 15, inflame thyself, etc., only the first stage is specified, but if that is properly done, the other stages will follow as if by necessity. So far is it written concerning the formula of Tetragrammaton.